Nigeria 67 Udo Mana. We are having a Wednesday prayer meeting at the moment. I invite you to join us wherever you are and the presence of God will touch you real good in the name of Jesus Christ. We are taking this hymn, I Need Thee Every Hour. for his 
his mercy and I'm speaking to you what is stopping you from relating with God when his mercy is available God says his mercy he has made available unto us in mercy God maintains a relationship with his chosen people like our patriarch John Wesley would put it John Wesley said that life would be much more if we Christians were suddenly made perfect if by virtue of anything God in his mercy make us perfect life will be much more life will be more robust life will be enjoyable life will be so pleasing if suddenly we are made perfect not by our powers we are made perfect not by our might we are made perfect not because we have not committed sin but specially by God's divine power certainly by God's power or God's spirit and I ask is there mercy for us is there mercy for me and the scripture let me to understand with a capital yes that mercy is there for me let us come boldly into the throne of grace that we might obtain mercy and receive grace to help in times of need Hebrews 4 verse 16 you would agree with me that this time is really a time of need you will agree with me that this time we really need God's divine mercy I don't know do you need God's mercy can you do it by yourself if you cannot do it look up to the scripture the Bible says come boldly what are you doing now walk boldly into the throne of God that you might obtain mercy that is one way of receiving mercy you ask by going into the presence of God with God there is mercy in abundance for everyone who is overtaken by a fault for all who have gone astray there is mercy in Exodus 20 verse 6 the Bible says and showing mercy unto a thousand of them that love me and keep my commandments if you love the Lord if you love the Lord mercy is available unto you yes if you keep the commandments of the Lord God's mercy is available unto you is there area in your life that you need mercy have you identified weaknesses that you cannot help yourself you need the mercy of God a simple show of love to God a simple adhering to God's instruction will grant you this mercy again the Bible says the fear of the Lord brings mercy as the heavens is high above the earth so great is his mercy towards them that fear him as the heavens is high above the earth so great is his mercy towards them that fears him Psalms 103 verse 11 the Bible puts it very clear if you fear the Lord so great is God's mercy towards you again in Psalms 33 verse 22 let thy mercy O Lord be upon us according to as we hope in thee hoping in God grants you mercy it's it is God's will for us to obtain mercy let us turn every moment of appearing just like today before God's presence to a moment of receiving mercy I pray this day in the name of Jesus that the blessings of God the mercy of God will be fulfilled in our life that the mercy of God will be made manifest in the life of every viewer every listener at this moment that the word of God that says he redeemed my life from destruction the Bible says he redeemed our lives from destruction even this moment viruses that are going destroying life God says he has redeemed our life from destruction so I speak this that everything that is coming to destroy your life you are redeemed from destruction by the Word of God in the name of Jesus therefore I receive redemption by God's Word in the name of Jesus from every satanic attack I receive just declare it to yourself that you receive redemption from every sickness you receive redemption from every accident be it car accident plane clashes or whatsoever you receive redemption by the Word of God in the name of Jesus God was says he crowned us with with heavenly blessings therefore we receive honor from God we receive grace we receive power and authority to do exploits in the name of Jesus everywhere we go we receive mercy in the name of Jesus the mercy of God shall follow me in my business you declare to yourself that the mercy of God shall follow us in our cities in our church the mercy of God shall be sufficient unto us therefore by this we declare in the name of Jesus that the mercy of God Almighty shall be sufficient unto us even as Psalms 23 verse 6 says surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the
the days of our lives. Father, we receive mercy by your grace. We need you, Lord, even as your mercy is sufficient unto us. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ.